What's going on? Of course you do. Help with what? Considering this is Lynx's companion quest, companion mission, it's gonna be to do with her. But come on, you two, really? <laughs> There's plenty of precious stuff in here. You aren't looking for treasure in the museum while pretending to volunteer, right? Does he really seem like the sort? Does he? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, what's this gadget? This monitor and this keyboard. Is it an automaton remote control terminal? See, there's this piece of paper here. It says Pena Sergeyevna. Is that the owner's name? Sounds a bit familiar. Isn't that, um, Pillar's mom? Sis. Please don't touch them. We've heard a name before. Something. Oh, we were just waiting for you. Long time no see. I wanted to talk about this in our chat group, but Sis won't have it. I'm sorry you had to run all the way out here. That's fine. Um, that was Serval's idea. She said it needed a level of secrecy. I happened to be helping out at the museum, so we both ended up waiting for you here. Actually, I want to talk to you about our little lynx. Oh, little lynx. She's our little sister. The youngest child of the Landau family. How old is she? She just came back from Do a we have confirmation on her age? On snow plains, but she seems really out of it. Almost like she's worried about something. And she won't tell us what happened. We're really worried and want to help, but we don't know where to start. This is an older sibling her, thing. She was preparing to meet someone on the snow plains. She even asked for a stove set from me. But no matter how Japard and I asked and probed, Link simply refused to tell us who she was going to meet. <sighs> Such a failure of a sister. Wouldn't she be an so adult if she's going on excursions like this on her own? We'd like you to help us find out what's going on. It's like I get you'll always One be her older sister Don't and older brother, you. but... Otherwise she'll probably get upset with us. Nah. So stalker. I don't know how I feel about I that. she's used to going into the snow plains alone for research, and we've always believed she can protect herself. At least there's that. But this is different. We're worried about her running into strangers. She might get herself into trouble. Okay. Oh, right. If you're gonna go find Linksy, Linksy. you gotta know what she looks like. Don't worry, she stands out. She's blonde like us, and, um... Quite short. Oof. She's always wearing a white fur hat. If I'm right, she should be waiting for someone. That's an ouch. Closest to the snow plains. We're putting our dearest baby sister in your hands. No. <laughs> Let us know immediately if anything happens. <sighs> Thank you. You two are cute, but come on. <laughs> She's likely an adult. Huh? That girl over there. Seems like she fits Sir Val's description. Speaking of which, thanks Lynx for coming nice. home and <laughs> keeping the fast five star away because I've got another character I want. Ah, oh, hi. Lynxy, I'm here. Bella. Let's go. So she's with no one dangerous. Do I really need to follow? It seems a bit rude now. I never knew how long it took to get from the administrative district to the snow plains. So much snow. Even in the northern mountains, it wasn't like this. Well, the snow is supposed to get heavier later in the day. We got enough warm clothes? Yep. I brought everything you told me to, all thanks to your camping guide. Speaking of which, according to the guide, the first thing we need to do is find a good place to set up camp, right? Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation. Oh, you remembered all that? I expected no less from you. But it's gonna be hard finding a place that fits those criteria. Okay. Well, we'll just keep moving and see. 
The place has to be convenient enough for us to observe the Aurora, too. Okay, so that's why they're out here. <laughs> Thanks, Linksy. So yeah, we're being way overly you, nosy. I'm gonna follow right behind you. Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation. You will need to be able to observe the Aurora. And this is going to be difficult. This slope has a good view. It'll be easy to watch the Aurora. Mm. Nope. Ah, the wind blows strongly through here. And there are signs of direwolf activity. It'd be too dangerous to make camp. I see. Then let's keep moving. Bypass. Sweet. Hmm. This area is sheltered and facing the sun. Plus it's flat ground, but... But there are cliffs all around. Oh, we'll be in trouble if there's a landslide or a rock fall. Also, there isn't much of a view. Ah, oh, I remember a good place that's not too far from here. Follow me. Huh? Okay. We're at a dead end. Wincy, are you sure this is the place? Hmm. Yep. This is the path to Kandor Valley. There are low cliffs on both sides, but I cleared all the monsters here a while ago, so it should be safe and sound. Also, the mountain wind during this season usually comes from the north, which is another reason why we couldn't camp on that previous slope. <sighs> These two hills can block the snow plane scales for us. I never even noticed! Huh. Camping is a complicated science. Oh, uh, not really. But the environment outside of Bellabog is very tough. If the weather here was as good as inside the city, well, then we could have camped anywhere. That's true. I hope that becomes a reality one day. It'll be long past you two's mm -hmm. lifespans. Only problem is, the view here isn't great. Are you sure we'll be able to watch the Aurora? <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. Let's get the tent ready, then go find our dinner. Okay. Sure. I can help out with the tent. I memorized that section in the camping guide. Okay, then I'll go set up the stove. Oh, if you have any questions, just ask me. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. oh. oh, why isn't the heater working? Nah. <laughs> oh, darn. Doesn't seem like an easy fix. <sighs> All right. I'll ask Pela. Weird. That's what the guide says. Hey, Lindsay, come and have a look at this. I did everything according to the guide, but the tent's still wobbly. Hmm. Uh, let me have a check. Main poles, check. Bow poles, check. Ropes, check. Ah, it's the pegs. The pegs. I forgot to mention, thick snow needs leaded iron pegs. Got it. It's definitely sturdier now. Nice job, Linksy. <laughs> you too kind. But my oversight. Uh, I've got a question too. Can you take a look at this stove? I think it's broken. Huh? Sure. Let me take a look. Hmm. The geomeral fuel activation component probably stopped working. Do you have a spare one? Oh, no. Uh, Serval told me this was a brand new stove. Hmm. Can I bring the wrong stove? Does this mean we have to make a fire with geomeral? I specifically got this stove from Serval. That's okay. These components are really common. Maybe we can find a spare one in the ruins around here. Really? You that seems convenient. I'll see if I can find one. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for food, too. Uh, I'll come with you. Yeah, for the best. Finding food is easy. Can but I not change it? Oh. Component is gonna be hard. Okay. We'll do our best. If we can't find one, we'll just do what your guide says and chop wood to make a fire. Oh. 
Joey. I have some spare chunks of geo marrow. There might be spare stove parts in the ruin. Let me see. Huh. Don't tell me you want to crawl in there. Of course I do. It's not like the stuff we need is gonna come crawling out. Uh, in that case... Be careful. <laughs> I didn't find any components, but I got this. I don't know if we can still eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It hasn't decayed. <laughs> it's edible. Really? Huh. It's all thanks to the Eternal Freeze. We can eat raw fish from 700 years ago. Seven. Ah! Yeah. No cellular activity because it's too cold. Bacteria develops at the same temperature as human cells. There's something in the snowdrift. Huh? I can do the digging. You don't need to. Come on, camping is about teamwork. Let me have a try. Uh, okay. I found something. Is this? A radish? Ah, yep. That's a snow radish. They're really sweet and tasty. Uh, actually, no. This is a hibernating snow radish rabbit. Huh? This is a rabbit? Yep. They look really similar to snow radishes. Their ears look like the leaves and their body looks like the radish bits. When they hibernate, they cover themselves with dirt just like real radishes. I see. In that case, please tell me we can put it back. Oh. Yeah, it's better for the Snow Plains ecosystem. This crate looks promising. Maybe there are spare stove components inside. Well, let's open it up then. Uh, no, no, I, I, don't worry about it, Linksy. I'll manage. Oh. Uh, are these sausages? Sure looks like it. And they were probably placed here not long ago. How have the dire wolves not eaten them? Bellabog caveman's food? What? Bellabog caveman? Wow. Oh, it's a legendary creature. It looks like something between a man and a monkey. Well, roughly the same size as a man. With dark blue hair. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Sampo's definitely a caveman. <laughs> He's as stupid as one would be. I love that. Great. Well, I've only chanced upon it a few times myself. Whenever I try to take a photo of it, it had already run away. That's because he's wanted by your brother. <laughs> These sausages might constitute a great Bellabogian scientific discovery. Let's bring them back with us. Uh, hold on. There are some letters here. Sam something post. Something. God's sake, they're confirming it too. I Great. Can't read the rest, but it seems like a name. Guess it can't be the Bellabog caveman then. Do cavemen even know how to write? Yeah, uh, they drew. They drew me, things, see? so at the very I'm least sure they had some method of communication. Day. Let's leave the sausages here. I think someone might be missing them if we take them. Huh? Ooh, what's in this tree trunk? You found something? There's food in here. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna pry it open. <gasps> there. Uh, what exactly are... Oh, these are mimic snow slugs. Ah. They change their appearance to match the external environment. <laughs> They're really cute. Yeah, but we should put them back. No, no. These slugs taste really good once they've been roasted. They kind of taste like, um, snow mice? Ah. That sounds even less appetizing. I'd say the slug is worse than the mice. I think we've searched through everything here. Like one produces slime. 
Both can make you sick as well, because slugs and snails have, like, really bad bacteria in them that can really harm humans. I'll just light a fire with Geomero. Let's go back and have some food. Pilla? Hmm? What's that? Is that what I think it is? We don't really need that stove to cook. I know, but since we're looking for food, I figured we might as well try to fix the stove. Oh, great, we get... <laughs> we get Stella Jade along with this quest. Sweet, let's go! Ah, nah. Hey, buddy. Is it some kind of animal? Linksy, wait! That thing in the camp is a dangerous fragmentum creature. No, it's not. It's a little coward. Uh, I see it too, but it doesn't seem aggressive. And it's all chubby and cute. Don't be fooled by its appearance. About 20% of our silver main guard fragmentum losses are a result of chasing this creature. This is proof the silver main guards are incompetent. We haven't figured out everything about it yet. But there's one thing we're sure of. They have the power to control No, people. they don't. They have they the power of capitalism. What? Well, but, but this little buddy gave me something good last time. And it didn't hurt me. That must be the first step in their mind control process. You were lucky. No. We should defeat it just to be safe. <laughs> Fragmentum creatures are Bellabog's enemies. No. They shouldn't be trusted. Oh, and technically it's not a Fragmentum <laughs> creature either, even in I like the games. A photo of it last time. Bookshelf, it doesn't Those count as chance. one. Can I at least take a picture, Pilla? That's also my job as a researcher. I understand, but... The sound of the shutter and the camera bolt might set it into a frenzy. It's a coward. Uh, it noticed us? It might be looking for an opportunity to attack. No, it's looking for an opportunity to run away. <laughs> Welcome to bloody dealing with these things. They're fine. They're just trotters. They give pr they give Stella Jade. They are good guys inherently. We just murder them for that reason. A picture. It disappeared. Did it run away? Yes, because it's a little coward. Yeah, that's the nature of these little things. They disappear in a flash when they get scared. Well, that's my conclusion from my long term observations. As for those lost guards, maybe they were chasing these little creatures and couldn't find their way back. They're incompetent. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Maybe I was overreacting. Yep. Oh, don't be sorry. It pays to be careful. <sighs> anyway, crisis resolved. We can now make some food. What? Our, our little buddy seems to have dropped something. Huh? This is... Awesome! Lixie, look! It's a Geomero activation component! I never thought we'd find one here. How convenient. Thank you, what Piggy. You, Did you find anything good? Huh? Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Just some old stuff. It's it's great we finally found the component. Let's go fix the stove. Huh? Linksy, is something the matter? Nope. Nope. Uh, that's all your imagination. No, it's uh, not. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll have a look at this stove. Okay. Other way around. Sweet. Okay. How done? Oh, what is this magic? I couldn't figure out the problem at all. No magic here. Just a trick or two I learned from Sir Bob. My sister. Yep, that's her. Uh, what's the matter? Ah, uh, oh, nothing. Just, you know, sometimes I'm a bit jealous of Serval, you know? She knows everything. <laughs> Same as you, then. What? I'm serious. Outdoor explorer, mechanic, 
you're both experts in their fields, right? I think you two are awesome. Cute. Anyway, it wouldn't be hard for you to get her to teach you something. You're her sister. She'd be happy to teach you. Yes, she would. <laughs> well, you say that, but, uh, yeah, never mind. It's getting late. Let's cook something. Yay! That's my favorite part! Wait, no. My favorite part is watching the Aurora. Well, anyways, let's take a look at what ingredients we have. Every ingredient has its own effect, and combining them will create unexpected results. Ooh, what kind of effects are they gonna make? Hmm. Let's just give it a try. Bleh. Fish from 700 years ago and some cute mimic snow slug. I don't think either is edible. Oh, don't worry. We'll make them into a hot pot. Just add cream, biscuit crumbs, and the canned sardines I brought. Uh. Oh, putting canned sardines into a hot pot? Please don't say that. Sounds revolting. Oh, well, then this will be the main course for tonight. I'll show you what I can do as a chef. Um, why don't I cook tonight? You can take a break. Oh, come on, it's fine. Just leave it to me. Ta-da! The super delicious snow plants combo stew is ready. Ah, it smells so good. I'm gonna dig in. Oh, look, there we are. Oh. <sighs> Guess now we just wait for the light show. The Aurora should start soon. Before that, let's just chat. Pela, why did you suddenly want to come camping? Huh? Well, aren't you always saying how you just want to lie in bed when you get off work? Hey. Ah, sorry. I hope this trip didn't surprise you. Controller, please! No, no, I mean, sure, I'm not the most sociable of people, but I love camping with a good You're friend. a mood, Lynx. And I had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. Aww. Hmm. Oh, you're always like this. Even on this camping trip, you keep trying to do things. You really don't need to. Just leave it to me. Camping is about relaxing. No need to be so tense. I know. It's just, I was really getting into the camping. I felt like I finally got around to doing the things I always wanted to. Aww. <laughs> so all those comics you drew for the Tales series didn't count? Ah! Hey! Uh, I have to hide those from other people. I get a little embarrassed. Aww. Aww. You care about other people's opinions too much. That's true. I suppose. I wish I could be more like you. Oh, I... I'm not as cool as you think. <laughs> I don't know how to handle my brother and sister. They keep treating me as a kid. How old are you? Like, they're both really capable and awesome people. Which is why I feel really pressured when I'm with them. I'm already a grown-up. I have the capacity to do what I want to do. How old is a grown-up here? Why can't they just stop worrying and let me do what I want? That's how families are. Ah, uh, sorry. I shouldn't talk about this. I was getting carried away. It's okay. It's not like I even know what she looked like. Oof. So, when's the Aurora do? Ah, uh, hi. Uh, careful, Lynx. There are monsters coming. You guys are screwed without a DPS. Let's go. How did it get here? Who cares? Let's focus on the fight first. Still have the upper hand? These fragmented monsters are coming out of thin air. <sighs> they were probably attracted by the stove. The Celeron Crisis is over. Why are there still so many monsters? Ah, uh, I see. W 
Wait. Where did you come from all of a sudden? Um. Kayla, who is this? Um. This is the Trailblazer, the savior of Bellabog. Hi. Oh. I see. Well, in that case, thanks for saving us. Uh, not to mention Bellabog. Well, so, what's a big hero like you doing out here? <laughs> <sighs> I knew it. Sorry. Ugh, they're always like this. It's impossible to get some private time as their younger sister. Yeah. Hold on. Isn't that what I just said? Don't worry about it. Uh, all right, all right. It's all because Serval and Japard are worried ones. Besides, you did save us. Since you followed us all the way here, you probably know why we're out camping today. Yes. Well, stay and watch the aurora with us. Hey. It's about time for it to appear. Hey, Khaleesi, look. <sighs> Come this way. Pretty. This is the largest aurora since the Celeron Crisis Pass. We're really lucky to see it. Yeah. Really lucky. So awesome! I got to taste Lacey's cooking and see the aurora. This Snow Plains adventure was the best. You look really happy. Huh? Uh, me? <clears throat> I'm not that happy. Sure, you're not. Uh, what I mean is. Uh... Huh? I. I hope not. <laughs> it's okay. I won't be sad. I understand what Kayla really feels. <sighs> it was a great experience. Thanks to you, Linksy. Not to mention you. Anyway, what now? Back home? Wanna go out for a midnight snack later? <sighs> we can. I heard a pretty good steak place opened up in the south of the administrative district. We can go try it out together. <laughs> Sounds good. That's settled then. Would Cattle really be able to survive here? Well, later. actually no, there is Scottish Highlanders. Uh, Kayla, hold on. Huh? Hmm? What's up? This is for you. What is this? I found this on the ground before I fixed the stove. I guess that fragmentum creature dropped it. I think it might be best if you check it out yourself. Anya Sergeyevna. I see. Thank you, Linksy. Let's meet up here later tonight. I better get going. Uh, oh. no. You're gonna give us context. It's fine, you two. I should go talk to Japard and Serval at the workshop. The twin expedition is always a challenge to make time with Lynx. But why doesn't she want to talk to us? Calm down. We've got her to help us. Hey, we were just talking about you. How was it? With Lynx? It's fine. <sighs> so, that stranger was Pela. <sighs> what can I say? Sounds like a Lynxy expedition, all right. Thank you for being around for this. Japard was too anxious to sleep. I... Sis, you're exaggerating. I doubt she is. As for how we'll communicate with Linksy in the future, we'll have to have a good think about it. You really helped us a lot this time. Thank you so much. Oh. Uh, 
Okay. Ah, you're here too. Hi. She's in the storage room. Let's wait for her. I think she's looking over the contents of that flash drive. Let's give her some time. Mm, I don't know the exact details, but... <sighs> I'm guessing you don't know about Pela's mother, right? Not much. Pena Sergeyevna was Belobog's greatest outdoor explorer. Passed away 16 years ago. That implied Pela 16. No way! She was- she texted us drunk! She's famous in Bellabog. You might have heard other people mention her in passing. And she's in a band with Saval! Yeah. She's way too Something old. Something else happened 16 years ago. Pela was born. Yeah, she's 60. Yes. It has to be- no, they that kind of- Despite her um, pregnancy, Madame Pena insisted on staying at the Snow Plains camp. She couldn't go to the front lines. But she was able to handle administrative duties. Then, finally, the day of Pela's birth arrived. Tragically, there were complications. Other serious incidents occurred that day. The exploration team ran into a blizzard and the camp lost contact with the outside world. No one knew what to do. The only good thing was that Pela was born healthy. I don't know if a few years on and it makes infinitely more sense. If the old research team members were telling the truth, it was something Madame Pena left behind. <sighs> oh, that sucks, man. Madame Pena asked a colleague to take her terminal and flash drive back to Bellabog. She said they contained a treasure for Pela. Uh. She said that once Pela was older, she'd be able to understand the contents. <sighs> but that colleague was attacked by fragmentum creatures on his way back to the city. During the attack, he dropped the flash drive in confusion, only managing to bring back the terminal. Apart from Madame Pena, Nobody knew what the flash drive contained. But they say she left Pela many letters. Oh, that's... From the moment she knew she was pregnant, the day of Pela's birth. <laughs> Never missing a day. Oh. They can hear it, can't they? I'm uh. fine. That sucks, man. There's somewhere I want to go. Will you come too? Sure. The workshop. Of course. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Oh. Hey, you two. Serba, Jepard. <laughs> I'm back. Lynx, you're finally back. What's with the red eyes? Aww. Did something happen? Japard? You make it obvious. Welcome home, Linksy. <clears throat> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Seems like a lot went down in the snow plains. Thanks again for your help. I think we need a little private time. See you soon. Okay. We should give them some time together. Hey. Hey. Oh, two. Hey. I'm sorry. Probably being so stubborn. It's okay. Part and I understand. Right, Japar? Huh? Ah, 
Yes, of course. But I have to stay, Liz. I think it's too dangerous for you to leave the city on your own. Chapard. <sighs> Chapard. Are you quite finished? Thanks, Aval. Um, yeah. Sorry. Uh... Don't worry about it. Okay, poor girl. Oh, I can't see Bellabog at all from here. I can hardly even see Mount Zarathustra's Apollo Iskandra. Mount Zarathustra's Apollo Iskandra. It's the tallest mountain we know of on the planet. Before I boarded the express, I thought Bellabog and the Snow Plains were the entire world. I didn't think reality would surpass my imagination this much. Yeah, you're right. Hey. Once I've discovered all the secrets on this planet, I'll go with you to head deeper into the universe. Don't turn me down when the time comes, okay? No worries. Satelladin. So everything in the tale series is true. Is this what Artem saw? What's wrong with those novels? You're not complete unless you've read the tale series. Ah! Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, excuse me. Just pretend I didn't say anything. Uh, thank you for inviting me to board the express. I'll take a look around on my own. You don't have to accompany me. You really don't have to. I'd like to hang out on my own. Bye. Hey. 